Okay, hopefully you liked that intro video. That was a, a recommendation from a friend to add that. Uh, so that was my attempt. Uh, moving forward, we'll, we'll put those in the beginning of videos. But uh, anyways, uh, this, uh, this here is uh, a brand new install of Dragon OS LTS, uh, the public beta 2. Uh, good news is uh, some people from SourceForge, or at least one user, uh, DM, had let me know that uh, in both the Dragon OS 10 which is again Debian based and uh, Dragon OS LTS uh, Edis uh, support works. Uh, he had really good luck with, uh, he or she had really good luck with uh, Edis in the LTS version and actually got it up and running in GQRX. So thanks for that feedback. Uh, just remember with a brand new install, at least with the uh, LTS version, you need to add your user to the Kismet group. And uh, I've already I've already done that. But when you add, you make sure you log out, log back in. The other thing we want to do is uh, change to our Q Spectrum Analyzer and make sure that fully installs. sudo pip install dot. In this video, we're going to use the Kerberos SDR and the HackRF together. Uh, I want to use the Kerberos SDR and, and Kismet to essentially use at least three of the radios that the Kerberos has uh, to monitor things like uh, uh, gas meters, uh, the ADSB, and then the RTL433. So we'll use that and then we'll use Q Spectrum Analyzer to be doing a sweep on the frequencies that we're listening to. So I think that'll work nicely together. Uh, let's see. Also, since uh, Kismet decided to release an update about a day after I did an ISO, go ahead and do a sudo app update and a sudo app upgrade. I know I said in the uh, installer video, um, you know, you may run into issues if you upgrade. I have not actually experienced the problem. As a matter of fact, when I installed uh, Dragon OS to this new laptop, uh, I had no issues selecting both the install updates and the third-party support, uh, which got me all the drivers and everything I needed. It was perfectly fine. Everything uh, still runs fine. That's not to say some big massive change couldn't break something that I pre-installed, but so far I've not seen that. Uh, the only thing is I, I did note if you happen to have a Broadcom wireless-based card, a really old one, uh, I have pre-installed the B43 driver, a firmware cutter. Uh, which supports a lot of radios, but in my particular case, when I ran the third-party support, it installed BCRM or Broadcom, uh, can't remember exactly what it is, but the Broadcom kernel driver, which then uh, essentially disabled my wireless. I had to install, uh, uninstall the, the kernel driver that uh, Lubuntu put in there, rebooted, and then I was fine with using the B43. So now we've got everything upgraded let's go ahead and we'll just change back to our home directory uh, that way when you run kismet i know where uh, all my log files are but we'll run kismet now remember you would have had to add yourself to the kismet group log out log back in or you'll run into some problems but you know what even before i do that one other thing is uh i mentioned this in a previous video is uh, increasing the usb S, uh, USB FS uh, memory. So elevate to temporarily to root to do SU. If you're doing uh, this in Dragon uh, OS 10, you have to remember you do the sudo SU and then a little dash afterwards. But this is the Ubuntu, so we'll just do sudo SU. Uh, let's see, we will run this command here. And you can look up the USB FS uh, settings online and see what a recommended number is. But I'm temporarily uh, increasing this from the default 16. I'm just uh, bumping it up. That way I don't run into problems when I'm running Kismet and trying to run uh, multiple radios at the same time. So I'll back out of root. We'll pull up Kismet. 
we'll do a left uh, control and or left click and a control on the localhost 2501 first time you open it up you'll make the username and password you can see this is the new interface we've got separate tabs that uh, the developer is adding we're going to go ahead we're going to use at least three of the radios in the Kerberos SDR we will use oh and you can see in this laptop I have an internal wireless card and a Bluetooth uh, so essentially I could monitor uh, all three of uh, RTL 433, the AMR, sorry, AMR and the ADSB, as well as Wi Fi and Bluetooth uh, all at the same time. But uh, we will just focus on the Kerberos right now. We'll go ahead and use the dash one for RTL 433. Let's see, let's do AMR dash two for things like our gas meters. And Dash three will do ADSB. Okay. All right. So now we have three radios uh, listening to three different uh, things here: ADSB, RTL four three three. Might take a second to pick up some gas meters. So while that's running, we'll go ahead and pull up. There we go. There's so there's three at the same time. Nine hundred twelve megahertz just over a gigahertz and then we know the RTL 433 is around about the 433 megahertz. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up our Q Spectrum Analyzer. Go to File Settings. Uh, take it up to Hack RF Sweep. And let's, let's change this to about the 400 megahertz to let's say uh, 1100 megahertz and we'll, we'll get this going so now we're using the hack RF to oops let's see how can I do this here we'll we're using the hack RF to look at 400 megahertz to 1100 megahertz I guess if you had dual screens you can get this set up to see easier uh, or uh, so you can see it at the same time here uh, I can do max hold we can we can see where we're getting some spikes here uh, so you know you're kind of, you're using both the hack RF and the Kerberos SDR at the same time uh, monitoring uh, three different at least in this case three different uh, things here and then the hack RF to sweep across uh, at a I think it's about an 8 gigahertz a second rate I should note for this to for this to work, you need I think at least the 2017 or higher firmware on your Hack RF. So take a look at one of my previous uh, videos. I, I should show how to update that that firmware. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our ADSB live map. We can see we've got a nice uh, separate tab here for this. Uh, yeah, so. That's just uh, another use when you're stuck inside uh, and you don't want to just do direction finding. You got your Kerberos. Uh, yeah, it's a little more expensive than buying multiple uh, dongles, uh, RTL SDRs, but I just happen to have it. And it's nice and neat. One USB connection to the computer, looking at three different uh, frequencies here, and then also the HackRF. Okay.